Hey everybody, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today, the results are in. You guys voted that you wanted the next video on this channel to be this Halo Mamba compared to this Proto Glow Gorgon. If you want to be involved in the voting of the next video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and then you'll have the opportunity when I post in the community posts, you can vote on what video is going to actually come next on the channel. Um, I do also have the world famous 138 gram G Star Mamba to compare it to as well. This is the world famous G Star Tina Mamba number five. I've never thrown a Halo Mamba, so this is actually a disc I'm really excited to check out. Not too atypical for Mambas. It's not quite flat, not quite super domey. Definitely not a pop top. Definitely a bit less domey than the G Star guy. After I throw them once, I'll show you these side profiles, but we got water on the right. One or two bad throws, and we could easily throw one of these guys in the water. So we're gonna try and hang them on the left side see what kind of turn we can get out of everything. This is the Proto Glow Gorgon first. <laughs> wow. Really trusting the Heiser flip on that one. And now we will throw the almighty Tina 138 G-Star Mamba. We do have a bit of a headwind here. Oh, she gone. Don't go in the water, hit the bridge. Perfect, we skipped right off the bridge. I think the bridge saved it from going into the drink. And now we have the Halo Star Mamba, which actually has this sort of sneaky pink in the Halo there, so very, very cool. I'm hoping this is a little more stable than that G-Star guy was. Oh, that's really nice. Wait a minute. That thing might actually be an absolute bomber. Let's go get, grab everything. We're gonna throw them back into the tailwind. And if you wanna get yourself a Mamba or Gorgon or any other golf discs at a 10% discount, click the link in the description below to access my storefront with Disc Golf Deals USA. They're adding new stuff to the website almost every day. So if you haven't checked the site out in a while, I would go check it out. We have tons of custom stamps, custom runs coming out for Black Friday, which I'll be doing videos on those as well. But definitely keep an eye on the site and then to get the best possible price, use my storefront at the link in the description below. Let's get back to it. All right, just so we're not staring directly into the sun, we're gonna throw from a little bit different spot. The normal tee box is just on this hill right here, uh, moving off to the right in the shade here. So hopefully you guys can get a true sense of how these are flying, you can really see the disc properly. We're gonna go with the Proto Glow Gorgon first, and then I'll show you the two side profiles on the Mambas. Oh, it didn't flip at all. Okay, that was that was pretty scary. There's a pretty strong tailwind going this way, so it's really gonna stable them out quite a bit. But let's take a look at big Tina here versus the Halo. You can see Tina's got quite a bit more dome. I personally, on my distance drivers, like a little bit more dome on them. So we got the domey Tina, and we've got a slightly more flat Halo variant here. Let's go with Tina. I think Tina is gonna be the right disc for the shot shape we need here. Okay, so that thing is a super flip. I actually haven't thrown that one in a few months. It seems to be flipping a little bit more for me now than it used to be. And now, let's just put this halo up in the air, see if we can get some of this minus five turn to kick in. That is so nice. Wow. The Halo Mambas are absolutely fire. I'm actually really enjoying this disc so far. The end of a Gorgon has been one of the hottest drops of the year. That's been a really great selling disc on pretty much all sites. And I don't know if Innova's done another run of the G-Star Gorgons yet, but that one's a lot flippier than the Proto Glow Gorgon. So if you want a Gorgon that's gonna fly similar to the Tina, Mamba number five, then I would suggest trying to track down a G-Star Gorgon. Um, but if you want one that's a little more stable, can handle a little more power, go ahead and get yourself the Proto Glow. By no means is it gonna be an overstable disc, but it's gonna be a lot less flippy, a little closer to neutral than the G-Star would be. All right, let's power up a little bit more here. Headwind, I can really feel it coming in from this side. Can't feel the tailwind too much from that side, but standing right here, 
I can feel a pretty strong wind pushing right at me. Proto Gorgon, again, not as slippy as the G Star. But man, this has been one of my favorite drops the entire year. These things are awesome. Easy turn, but a nice fade still. And they go pretty far for a 10 speed. I think the Gorgon, if you feel like the trail, uh, the James Conrad trail is a little bit too stable for you. I feel like the Gorgon is gonna be right in that sweet spot. Now we've got the G-Star. We're gonna have to crank the Heiser to max here. <sighs> Even on that much Heiser. Oh, does she fade? We hit something and kicked back to the path at least. So Tina did not go for a swim there. Then we've got this Halo guy, man, the Halo Mamba. I've seen a lot of people throwing these out on the course. This one's a 169 and it's still pretty stable. Like pretty much stable enough for full power flat throws. Very similar to a Wraith for me. Oh, it slipped out. The one thing about the Mamba is it's a lot more shallow than a Wraith or a Destroyer. And I feel like every once in a while, that shallow feel may get in the way of performance for me just a little bit. But overall, flight-wise, the flight is amazing. It's probably just a touch too shallow in the hand for me. All right, last throws of the day here. We've got a nice low ceiling here. I'm just going to try and punch these on a flick through the meat of the gap. A little bit of height on them, nose down. See if we can get them to pop up and get a little bit of a turn here. The Gorgon for this shot for me is one of the standard setting discs for these Heiser Flip forehands. So I expect the Gorgon to do it pretty well. Just, I mean, textbook. It's so good for that shot. I love the Gorgon for those Heiser Flip forehands. Now, Tina, if I can forehand Tina, I'm the best forehander of all time. Ooh, a little too much height. Needed hyzer and height to fly. We don't quite have the height to work with here. Now I'm really curious to see, does the Mamba get a similar flight to the Gorgon here? Getting that shallow feel in hand, I probably like the feel in hand of the Gorgon a bit more. But let's see what we can do with the Mamba here. Oh yeah. Not quite enough height on that shot, but you can see it picked up, found the nose angle you're looking for, with a little bit more height, that thing would've went absolutely super far. I think flies for days if you can get it on the right angle. The flight numbers on the Mamba can be potentially misleading for some. And I feel like the Mamba is one of those molds in particular where if Innova produces champion Mambas, they should probably put them at a minus two or a minus three turn. Um, if you get one in the G-Star plastic in the super lightweight, maybe they should change the flight numbers to minus four, minus five. But the Halo Mamba is really just like a minus one or a minus two. So we have like a three or four turn difference depending on what plastic you're getting here. And look at this, we got a, I haven't seen this guy in a long time. Got a stray pepperoni running around here. Go check out a Gorgon, go check out a Mamba or any other discs over at Disc Golf Deals USA. If I have to pick a winner of the battle, it's got to be the Gorgon all day long. I do like the Mamba for the shot shape, but the feel in hand, just a bit too shallow for me on both sides of the game, backhand and forehand. I feel like the Gorgon is going to give me the flight I'm looking for, but also has a feel in hand that I can be truly confident in. But that's my take. I'd love to hear your take in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.